Hey guys, so today I have another small um, Black Friday haul for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get into this. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. All of the info will be down below to the sites where you can purchase these if they're still available. Um, I just checked and I believe yeah, all of them are still available. So, okay, so this first one up is part of a duo from Colors by Laurel. This is their Christmas duo that is on the Rainbow Connection Exclusives website. This first one is called Bah Humbug. And I'll be right back because Baby Pony is miserable. That won't last long as apparently it's one of those days and explains why I haven't made videos in a while. She doesn't nap, so my day is kind of like screwed. But anyway, this is Bah Humbug by colors by Laurel and it's this beautiful green hollow I tried to get the descriptions but there is no descriptions and then it's got this orangey red glitter in there it is just beautiful there it is on the brush and here we go we'll go ahead and swatch Bah Humbug also looks like in this um, angle that it has like a gold or a green shimmer in it as well so there is one coat of Bah Humbug next is the second part of the duo and this is on the naughty list and this is a bright pink hollow it's got some I'm assuming they are pink flakies in there they're either pink or iridescent I can't really tell because the base is so pigmented and there it is on the brush this was I believe when I swatched it when I first got it fairly opaque on the first coat mm. yeah I mean it's pretty opaque I wouldn't go with um, just one coat I guess maybe you can if you're in a hurry and you have short nails uh, probably like what's the size of mine right now but that is on the naughty list and again I can't tell what color those are they might be like a magenta colored flaky uh, ones on the side kind of look darker but again I tried to get a description of these two and they just aren't on the website so I don't know next is my first order from pretty serious along the years I've heard um, some mixed reviews about pretty serious but there were a few that I had really wanted to try myself um, I usually don't like to take everybody's hype and word for it when it comes to a nail polish brand. I kind of like to try them myself and see. And I'm not too utterly disappointed with um, the three that I purchased. And I went on her website because she was having that $3 sale. These first two were not $3, but I wanted them since I've seen them. This one here is Undercover Mermaid. And this is the only one that she has described on her website. And she's calling it a lilac taupe jelly with iridescent green flakies and glass fleck shimmer. So there you could see. Um, I'm not disappointed with formula. I'm slightly disappointed in the polish though. I kind of was hoping that the flakies and the shimmer would come through a little bit more. But I'm not, I'm not disappointed as a whole. It's still very pretty. I'll still wear it. Um, yeah, so here's one coat of Undercover Mermaid. I mean, it's got pretty good coverage for the first coat and for how light of a color it is. But you could see, I just wish those greens came through just a tad bit more. Next up is also one that I've wanted for quite a while. 
And this one is Bloodlust Nebula. And this is, I don't even know how to describe this. I think it's like a green base, but it's got like these purple holographic glitters in it. It's also kind of um, duochrome, a little teeny tiny bit duochrome, because it kind of has like a blue shift to it. You can see it right in the edges there. There it is on the brush. Also looks like this has a gold shimmer as well. So here is one coat of Bloodlust Nebula. So it definitely is in a greenish blue base. It This one's a hard one to describe for me. I'm not good at describing colors to begin with. But this one's even harder for me to describe. So it is in like a bluish green base. With a lot of gold, greenish gold shimmer. And those purple holographic glitters. Next up, I usually refuse to buy cream polishes from indie brands. Because um, there's so many out there and in the drugstore that I just don't find paying $8, $10, $12 for a cream is worth it. However, I'm sorry, just needed a sip of coffee there for a minute. However, this was only $3 and I was looking at these cute name polishes that she had for quite a while. This isn't really the one I wanted. I don't know if it was Pookie that I wanted, but it was sold out. This is Doodlebug, and it's coming up a lot less. It's coming up greener on the camera and a lot less bright, but this is like a bright sky blue, I'm going to say. Now, I will need to compare this with some polishes. Um, I may or may not have something that's similar. If I do, it's all going to boil down to formula on that polish um, onto which one I keep. But this one has a very, very good formula. I've got no problems with this cream polish. And for $3, I mean, I know when I first swatched it, it dried extremely shiny. So I don't have any problem with this polish at all. And I'm kind of happy I got it. <clears throat> so there's one coat of Doodlebug. All right, next up, I didn't even realize I was getting these this month because I didn't pay attention to my um, other email. I actually have this, um, these emails from Julep going to my Linica Vinyls email, and I didn't have it set up at the time because um, I, I upgraded to the Note 8. And... Um, so I got these, and I'm not really thrilled with the colors. They're not colors I would have picked, but they're pretty nonetheless. So this first one is called Mercer, and Julep describes it as a deep spice shimmer. Sorry, deep spruce shimmer. Nothing special about it. Um, if I wear it and I don't like it, it'll probably go to a D-stash. If I have something similar to it, it might just go to D-stash. Sorry for the blurriness. It's, um, I'm just going to stick with the color that Julep says it is because I'm not good at colors. So here is going to be one coat of Mercer. And Julep for me is hit and miss. Um, I love a lot of their colors and this was a big blob that I got on here. I love a lot of Julep colors. However, a lot of Julep co colors don't dry. Um, even with the quick dry top coat and 12 hours later I can still stick my finger in it and that makes me sad because these aren't cheap for how small they are but this one has a good formula very pretty this is a lot deeper and darker on his first coat because I got a huge amount on the brush that I didn't wipe off but that is Julep's Mercer <clears throat> this next Julep here is kind of pretty it's brown. I'm not a big brown fan. I probably have maybe four or five brown polishes in my collection. And this is Emmeline, Emmeline. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but they are calling it a chestnut iridescent shimmer. 
and it's it's very pretty i have no issues with this polish this will stay in my collection as long as the formula is good and you know it dries properly okay so there it is on the brush and i think she's just gonna make some noises in the background until she starts to wail <laughs> so here is one coat of Emmeline, Emmeline. I actually prefer this one out of the two. They gave me some lip product and a silver eyeliner. They're going on my D stash. I didn't even open them. Um, I don't have, I use black eyeliner always. Um, so there is, and I don't wear a lot of lipstick. I wear like um, soft lips or Burt's Bees type stuff I don't wear lipstick very very rarely so there is Emmeline it's very pretty because it kind of has like a purpley red shimmer in there and this last one I actually just picked up yesterday at the dollar store my local dollar store did not have any of these kiss um polishes but the one that I went to out of town did and this was really the only one that caught my eye so I grabbed this one and this one is called one and only and it's kind of like a champagne gold glitter I don't want to say in certain lights it kind of looks pink although there is a big gold shimmer in there so maybe the larger glitter is pink and the gold glitter is kind of giving it a different hue. And I have to say that this is um, because of that shimmer in there. Okay, so it looks like there's two different color glitters. Maybe like a gold, a darker gold glitter. And then a lighter gold glitter. So this is actually pretty opaque on one coat. I'll bring out another um, swatch wheel. To swatch it over a color but here is one coat of kiss one and only by itself actually has some pretty good glitter distribution i'm not disappointed with this polish at all it's very pretty it'll be very nice for the holidays uh, let's see here i'm gonna get a dark enough color want it to take away from anything all right hang on okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put it over um, this purple right here I think this might be OPI's chemistry Here's one coat over, over a purple colored base. So I actually think it's too opaque to be a topper, um, unless, unless you're looking for that. To me, that's too much glitter over top of something. Um, but everybody has different likes, so that might be your taste. Okay, so I'm going to pause and come in with the second coat, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here we go with the second coats. This is Colors by LaRoe in Bah Humbug. And it is super holographic. Very pretty. I love this. I saw somebody swatch this on Instagram and I immediately purchased it. This is on the naughty list, also by Colors by LaRoe. This is a duo, you cannot purchase them separately. The person, I have to figure out who it was, I don't remember. Um, I'll have to post her Instagram down below if I can remember. She did a candy cane, I believe, like a, a wrapping paper candy cane type design with these two. <sighs> Gorgeous. Okay, so this is pretty serious. This is Undercover Mermaid. Two coats. This is pretty serious uh, Bloodlust Nebula. I think for this I would put three coats because I want it to be a little bit darker, but this is just two coats. This here is pretty serious Doodlebug. Very pretty, very shiny. It really didn't need two coats. Here is Julep's Emil. Uh, sorry, this one's Mercer. 
And I did notice these brush strokes that you see, they kind of do stay there after it's dry. Not sure if that'll be taken care of with the top coat or not. This is Julep's Emmeline or Emmeline. Very pretty. Uh, they call it a chestnut iridescent shimmer and I can kind of see the iridescence in there. This one was basically opaque in one coat, but I did put a second coat on anyway. And then this is Kiss in One and Only, found at the dollar store. And yeah, you can see it's got silver glitters there. It's got gold glitters. And then it's got a very fine gold micro glitter. And this is two coats also. You could probably get this opaque if you would sponge rather than swipe the brush. And that is it. That is another Black Friday haul. Again, I have Bees Knees Lacquer coming. I have Fun Lacquer coming. I have ILMP coming. Um, honestly, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, and I have the Enchanted Mystery Polish coming. So that is it. And I got to go because you can hear her hollering in the background for me. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, comments, questions suggestions down below and i will see you guys next time bye